I want to show you a couple of ways that you can add grungy text or graphics to your model in Substance Painter. So here I have this crate and it is looking rather damaged, dirty and dusty. And so I don't want some really clean text or images on this. So the first way is create a fill layer, come to the properties, alt quick color. I'm going to use a white color for this. All right, I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to add a paint layer. But come to the properties of the paint layer and scroll down and make sure the spacing is down. And you can even have that at one. And make sure that size jitters down and flow and angle and all of that stuff. Okay, so now I need an image or text. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to choose this image. It happens to be a PNG. Uh, it's great if you can use a PNG that's white and black. I'm going to click open and define it as an alpha to my current session. I'm going to double click this and make it a bit bigger. And there's the image that I want to put down. I'm just going to click and stamp it down. So how do we make it look kind of grungy though? Well, it's very simple. Come over here. You've got your paint there. Add a fill layer. That'll go everywhere. Come to the properties and in the grayscale, type in grunge and choose a grunge. I'm just going to click on this one and it goes everywhere, but come back here change the blend mode from normal to subtract and it'll subtract it from your paint layer and right off the bat very simply you've got some wear and tear on that and then you can come back you can adjust the balance of this if you want more or less or you can choose a completely different grunge and get a different effect and by the way this will also work on text so if i was to come down here add another paint layer below the grunge I could come over here and just search my alphas. Maybe I'll use, let's search for font. I use one of these here, caution. Predetermined words. And I'll just come down here, I'll type caution. And as you can see, it's already cut out part of that word based on the grunge here. So there's the first method, and that's probably the easiest one. The next one is create a fill layer. I'll click color. I'm gonna take that same image here and I'm going to drag that into the base color. And as you can see, it's gone everywhere. It looks kind of psychedelic. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to press F1 to bring up the UV image editor or the UV view. And I'm going to press Control and Shift and pull the left corner. And as you can see, there are multiples of these. So we'll come to the properties and scroll up to where it says UV wrap. Change this to none. So we now have just one. Position that where you want it. You can rotate it a bit. Change the scale. I'm going to press F2 to come back to just this view. And because of the way we've done this, dropping it in the base color, it comes out looking like this. Don't forget, you can also, on this layer where you added that image, you can invert this, adding a filter, and invert. Maybe you like that better. I kind of do, but again, it looks a little bit too clean for this particular uh, situation. So on the main layer, I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to add a paint layer and I don't see anything. So now I will come over to my brushes and grab your trusty dirt brush. Adjust this as, as you like and just start painting over that general area. So that's two ways that you can grunge up your images and I think it looks a lot better like that in your scene if your object is dirty, dusty and worn and stuff like that.